Hello and welcome to another edition of Protomet Tries and in today's video I'm going to be trying two varieties of Chewy Chips Ahoy. Uh, specifically I'm going to be talking about s'mores and red velvet. I'm going to start with the red velvet because there's actually something a bit special about the s'mores that I'll get into in a little bit once I start on that. but. Uh, we're talking about the red velvet right now. Here is what one looks like, and it smells very cakey. <laughs> it smells very much like a cake mix <laughs> type of cookie. <laughs> you can see the dark red coloring with the... Uh, with the, uh, I think, white chocolate or whatever. Cream cheese, cream cheese chips. That's what they are. That's what the, uh, that's what the box says. So, let's give this a shot. It is very much like having some cake. It's like a cream cheese um, frosting. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if I can get a cross section. It looks like there's a filling. You can see the filling in there. Cream cheese filling. Yeah, I could definitely see somebody uh, taking these to like a party and like putting them on a plate and getting rid of the packaging and people looking at it and being like, oh, dark red cookies. What are these taste? Oh, these are fine. These are delightful. Where, how did you make? What's your recipe? <laughs> I'm not telling. Kind of a commercial like that. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. That was fine. Um... I, I suppose I'd have it again if I were in a more festive mood. Like, if, if we're at a party, yeah, yeah, I'd have it again. On the regular, though, I probably would go for just regular Chips Ahoy, personally. But, uh, next up, we have s'mores. You ever make s'mores? Because here's what uh, it looks like. You got some chocolate chips, what looks like a marshmallow y type chocolate chips. And it does have a uh, chocolate filling, which I'll show you on the, uh, on the second go around. Because we gotta try this, see if this tastes anything like s'mores. Yeah, kind of. I mean, the, the cookie itself tastes quite a bit like a, a graham cracker. Or just like any chocolate chip cookie. Mine is the chocolate chips. So that's spot on. We got the chocolate, of course. And then the uh, marshmallows. The marshmallow, cho the marshmallow chips. Those are fine. Those are fine. But once again, when I think of a s'more, I think more marshmallow taste. Which, in this case, it's a bit lacking when compared to it. 
but uh, this is not terrible. I uh, probably have this again. We've got the chocolate filling. Fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just. Nah, never mind. Something off screen. Don't worry about it. So then, what is um so special about this uh, variety of uh, s'mores that I decided to do it second? Well, if you look right here. It says to see the side for heating instructions because this variety of uh, Chips Ahoy is actually designed to uh, go in the microwave to get a, a more, ac more accurate s'mores experience. Provided your experience with s'mores is uh, constructing them and then putting them in a microwave instead of uh, cooking the marshmallows over a fire. <laughs> Which is how I usually do it. The fire portion. But, um, see if we can give these a shot. With a little bit of magic. Three, two, one. And, uh, there you go. It's, uh, they do look a, a tad, the chocolate does look a tad melted. Um, and they are a bit hot warm. Like they're kind of uh, like that. They, they feel about as warm as cookies that have been cooling for a while, but it still are not quite room term temperature. Let's give, the, let's give this a taste. I think I'd, uh, I think I'd actually give it uh, to the, uh, to the heated one. I do kind of, for whatever reason, it does taste a bit better. I'm not sure how exactly to put it. I, I guess the heat just kind of works well with what's already in the cookie. So it activates its flavor. So yeah, these are. Well, these are good cookies. I'm definitely glad that I decided to uh, try the heated method. Because that, uh, well, that does make quite a bit of difference. But it does beg the question, would I have this again? Yes. Yes, I would. But, like with the red velvet variety, I wouldn't have it regularly. I think I'd, I'd, I would pick these up again, but I'd probably uh, pick them up for like more like special occasions with like guests and stuff. Something where these feel a bit more special. So, that's uh, really all I've got left to say. So, until next time, this has been me, Protomet. See ya!